Tablets, notebooks, smartphones. Mobile devices are among the most popular consumer products today. They have created many new ways to communicate, spend leisure time, and work. You might even be watching this video on a mobile device right now. In 2012 alone, an estimated 800 million smartphones were sold worldwide. But few consumers actually know how and where the devices are produced. So what's it like, the life of a smartphone? From the extraction of raw materials, through to processing, distribution, usage, and disposal. And what are the problems in each phase? Let's take a smartphone, say from Apple or Samsung, as an example, and look at this chain. First, there is the development and the design of a new smartphone model. This is done by the company's own product design departments. At Apple, for example, their headquarters in California. The production process starts with the collection of raw materials. For a smartphone, a whole variety of materials is needed. Metals such as tantalum, cobalt, and copper are particularly important. Cobalt is used for powerful batteries. The largest cobalt manufacturer by far is the Democratic Republic of Congo. About 100,000 Congolese work in cobalt mines, often with terrible working conditions. Extremely long hours, low wages, and insufficient protective equipment are common. Large amounts of tantalum are also sourced in the Congo. The Congolese tantalum export raised concerns in the 1990s because it financed civil war there. Today, the extraction and export of other raw materials is still financing civil war in the Congo. In addition, there is the industrial pollution. Raw materials are often produced through surface mining, taking up large areas of land. Also, large amounts of chemicals are needed to extract the desired materials from ore. When they reach the environment, these chemicals pollute rivers, lakes, and soil. The production of individual components and assembly are mostly done at factories in China and India. These factories are run by companies like Flextronics, Salcom, and Foxconn. Foxconn has become one of the main producers of electronics worldwide. Almost 1.5 million people are employed in its factories. There too, working conditions are disastrous. The mostly female workers are forced to work extremely long hours, do not receive social benefits or have the right to organize, and repeatedly suffer damage to their health, caused, for example, by aluminum or nickel dust. The pressure put on workers has resulted in several cases of suicide at Foxconn factories. Once produced, these mobile devices are sold all over the world, many in industrial countries like Germany. But also emerging markets, such as China or Brazil, are large consumers. Like other brands, Apple and Samsung spend much money on marketing. On average, the German consumer purchases a new mobile phone every 18 months. This short product lifespan is supported by different factors. Manufacturers quickly produce new models. Every one to two years, a new model goes on sale. The devices themselves are constructed so they can hardly be repaired. And apps are intentionally developed so they can only be used with the latest model. Mobile service providers subsidize the devices with their contracts. Often, consumers get the latest model for free or at a special discount every two years. As a consequence, in Germany alone, about 23 million smartphones were sold in 2012. At some point, the old models become part of the 1.8 million tons of electronic waste produced in Germany each year. Part of this waste is contaminated with heavy metals. So far, there is no regulated and efficient recycling system that decreases the environmental burden and recycles valuable raw materials. Every phase of the production chain is important for national economies by providing urgently needed jobs that earn money for workers. But working conditions and the environmental impact have to be improved. The problems mentioned apply to all major manufacturers of electronic devices. A look at the value chain shows 
The profit margin is particularly high with more expensive brands. For example, about half the price of an iPhone is pure profit for Apple. Such high profits should not be achieved at the expense of workers or the environment.